Right, we'll be saying goodbye to Crook's Peak in a minute, which is up there, and I stood on the top. Down there, I'll just zoom in, but I can't see, is um, St Andrew's Church. It's sort of at the end of my finger, but I can't see it at all. Um, down there somewhere is St Andrew's Church, by the way. But very difficult for me to locate anything with this this camera. But it is down there somewhere. But, uh, I don't know where. Whereabouts. We're going to do that another day when I bring the car out to Kingswood. We'll do a walk around the hill and then we'll go up that. Well, we actually we might come down that, go down and then walk round so we don't have to walk up it. <laughs> I don't like walking up that. There is a seat halfway up for people and people do use it. Really? Yeah. There is a seat. It's a long way up. It takes a good, well, I can't remember. I don't know how long it takes me, but. And then it's straight on the top and you've got the trick point and you've got the views. But I normally, if it's possible, I go down, I go down the lower track, but I can see a farmer's vehicle, so it might not be allowed, in, in which case we'd be forced to go up. <laughs> so it takes longer going round it, believe it or not. It's a nice walk round it though. That's a nice view of the village of Bishop Compton down there. Yeah. Actually, I reckon there's an extended graveyard, you know, there. I keep forgetting about that, you know, that extended graveyard. When I come next, I must go in that field. Is there? Yeah, I keep forgetting there's an extra graveyard next to the church, and I keep forgetting about it. And I'll probably forget about it again. I'm starving. I might, when I get down the bottom of the hill, but there, there are farmers in the field, but I think we're still allowed to do it. Um, no, actually they're not farmers, they're sort of rangers. There's a board up as well, so there might be something going on. In fact, they might say we can't come in today because we're doing things, which I won't know about till I get there. Yeah, it's been a good walk. I've really wanted to do that walk, you know. Walk from Hutton through the wood a bit, skirting the wood, and then over onto the Roman Road, up the bridle path, along the wibbly wobbly track, and then follow the West Mendip Way all the way to Loxton, go through where the church is, and then head up in, into the, the village of Compton. It's either Compton Bishop or Bishop Compton. I always get a muddle up. And then I climb up the track to Crook's Peak. It's Crook Peak, actually, but everyone call it Crook's Peak because Crook Peak doesn't sound right. Um, oh, big pack. Somebody coming. Boy with dog. Turn off a minute. It's a lovely day, everyone. It's a warm sun as well. The breeze is a hint of cool, but no wind. If there is a breeze, it's very light. And um, it's been a good day for a walk today. Really good day. You know, it's not baking hot. You know, you know, you don't need gallons of water. I mean, look at that view there. Just that view with the sky and the stones. And then you've got Winscombe's over there. There's all the wall going up. Because the bloke that passed me earlier, the mustard coat, he's already at the top. It might not be allowed um, where I'm going. I might have to, I might be forced to walk it in a minute. 
Um, might be. What I'm doing sometimes, if I don't put something on YouTube or Blogger, I put the odd one on Facebook. That's what I've been doing. Putting the odd one on Facebook. One good walk a week like this is good. I mean, yesterday I was out walking. You know, I'm not knackered. I went over San Bay yesterday and the cows have gone. If everyone wants to know, the cows have gone for the winter now. Um, like I said, there's a board there. They might say you can't come through. Might do. I just love these walls, you know. With this blue sky behind. So gorgeous. Look how well put together they are. With love, each man has picked up a stone and measured it up to the wall to fit in. I think it's just such a beautiful thing to do. I've seen the men doing it. They are the red top people and they're over there repairing fences. Oh, I don't fancy going up there. We'll have a look to see. I don't know why there's a board there. We've got exactly two hours, less five minutes. Bus is never on time, but it could be the day it is. Do you know what I mean? It's a little information board, basically. Crook Peak and Wavery Down are part of the Mendip Hills Super National Nature Reserve. Recognised for the unique limestone grassland, habitats and south facing slopes. You can often find up to 20 different species of wildflowers in one square metre. Yeah, that's good isn't it? That would probably be that lot over there. Right, what we're doing now folks, we're going down. Oh hello. hello! I'm just talking into my video. <laughs> Sorry, it's just you know, I do a little little bit of a record, you know. I didn't know you were there. I wasn't saying anything horrible. <laughs> I was just talking about how beautiful everything is. Yeah. Right. So now we're going. What we're going to do now, instead of going up up the top there today, we'll do that another day. Um, we're coming. It's a nice walk down this way. Hopefully, we don't bump into a bull or anything. And it's a lot easier going down this way, by the way. It's a bit of a climb coming up. You have to do it steady and slow when you get to my age. Just a couple, a little couple sat in the shelter of the wall there having a picnic. And, uh, and I walked by. I didn't know they were there. I mean, look at this little tiny toadstool here, this little tiny red one. Look! Look at that! How funny! Look! We might see some stuff on the way down. Now what do you think? What's been down there? Sheep? Or could there be a herd? I can't really tell. But the gate was open. The gate was open. Because this is um, the time for fungi and mycelium friends. Now these are, these are sheep feet um, hoofs I can see. They're small, dainty. Like I said, I have videoed this. You'd have to go on other years to find it. You just, you just look up Crook's Peak or something like that and, and, and I come out. We'll go this way. It's a nice old gnarled tree, isn't it? Covered in ivy. It's when you come in places like off the track where you see the mushrooms. Ooh. 
sometimes it's handy having glasses on. I've just got wax across my glasses then. If I hadn't had my glasses on, I would have got hit in the eye by a very fist. Looking, there's a mushroom broken up there, look. Something's trod on it or something's tried to eat it. Yeah, this is all walks I have discovered and explored and I've done lots more than you can see that I'm showing you today. What I say to people, you've just got to remember that I'm just showing you snippets of walks. Okay, you don't see the whole walk, you know, which could go on for five hours, even eight. You never see all that. Okay. You just see snippets. Although it's better on the breathing going down, you're more likely to fall over and slip. Or even on grass it can be very slippery. So we're heading for the gate down there. Over there, right over there we've got um, Banwell Hill Fort over there. We've got um, Sanford Hill there. I know the, all these places very, very well. And of course, Banwell's over there, the castle. This is uh, the hilliest bit we've got to do now going down. And then it's sort of straightforward on the flat. And then we might have to put a spur on on the end. I don't know yet. It can take you longer than you think. I'm what I'm just surprised about with the bus service is that no one has said, can't there be another bus between four and half past six? It's a big gap. And it's only a single decker as well. It's only a single decker. Right, we'll go this way. Try not to fall down a rabbit hole, Sheila. <sighs> yeah, I haven't seen many toadstools here, have we? I know I've videoed all before, but it is a different date. The 10th of October 2024. The world has changed, it's moved. There's wars going on, horrendous wars, out in uh, Lebanon and Gaza, Israel being the attacker, displacer and genocide maker. And being supported by us and the Americans with weapons to kill people. I think it's disgusting. I know I've mentioned it in another video, a bit, little bit about it. I, this is what I do on my walks. They're reflective journals, visual diaries, and they record moments in time. And sometimes I'm feeling, but if I'm feeling very personal, I don't tend to share. I don't even record it sometimes because maybe I don't want to remember it. You know, but there are times I don't think there's anything wrong in saying certain things when you encounter new people, how they were nice people, and you're glad you met them in your life, and and all that. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong in any of that. It's like anything, though. When you've been away on holiday, you meet somebody. I was on a family tree trip, and you you think, oh God, this is a really nice person. I wouldn't mind. It's a pity this person doesn't live near, near me because I could do with somebody like this in my life. And, um, and I'm not open, I'm not very receptive usually, so just whoever gets the privilege of me thinking, of considering them, they're very lucky. Because <laughs> I don't, I'm a hermit. Anyway. Yeah, so sometimes I do reflect on that because it's a part of who I am, what's happening to me. And, you know, it's, um, it is a part of who I am. Like, I've still got feelings, even at 72, 
to be 73 in January, I can still have emotions. You don't, you're not dead, it's just because you get old. <sighs> Although you feel like it sometimes. And people treat you differently. <sighs> you know, they do, they don't expect you. I mean, I've known people who thought I was about 50 old, and when they realise I'm 72, their whole attitude changes. I've seen it. <laughs> so many times. As soon as they realise your real age, they change towards you. That's just human beings for you. We probably all do it without knowing. Oh, look at that horse. Are you listening to my conversation? Hello. Hello. It's not even looking at me. Must be something interesting down there. Oi. Oh, is he? He's got his coat on to protect him from the cold and from ticks and stuff. We have got a little bit of hill to climb. It's a bit undulating in places, that's what I say now. Undulating. Oh, my legs are aching though. They're just starting to ache now. God, I hope I'm not being followed. I thought I heard a gate then. I could do with a drink. Yeah, you ought to get your water out, Shell. Oh, wait on a minute. I think there's somebody coming up behind. I can't remember these bushes, Laura bushes. <sighs> Privacy, isn't it, really? Privacy. <sighs> right, just turn off for a while, folks. <sighs> 